Greetings. Today I'm going to be reviewing and testing the REDS two-way radio repeater. This is model number SRPT03. They also have a 02 model. Uh, the cost is about a $10 difference. The biggest uh, difference between the two is that the um, O2 model records, I think, about 10 seconds of um, voice, and the uh, O3 model records 45 seconds of voice. I think for the $10 more, it's worth getting the extra money. Now, this is a simplex repeater, or what is also known as a parrot repeater. This uses one radio. You call into that radio using another radio. It will then receive your message, transmit it to the repeater box. The box then records the voice message and then will then uh, stop the reception, start playing back the, re the recorded voice message and transmit that back to the original uh, originating radio. So it's good for uh, using for trying to uh, extend distance between you and somebody else who might uh, have just might be on HTs and uh, you can put your uh, repeater in between your HTs. You can put this up on a um, on an external antenna as well, or you can just use the regular uh, rubber duck or a signal stick or whatever on the radio. Uh, it uh, th there's a lot of different combinations that you can do with it. Now I believe that this is an excellent repeater. Uh, box. It's a little more expensive than the cheap ones that you find on Amazon. Uh, I think it's really worth it. At, you go out to redsengineering.com and you will find uh, their products that they sell out there. And I will uh, open up the box and just show you what's in it. There's really not much, uh, but uh, I'm sure you want to see. So uh, here we go. Uh, I'll start right now. Okay, let's open up this box and see what we have. Now, Knocked over my own radio. Okay, here we have the repeater itself. As you can see, it is uh, a nice little circuit board. It's very heavy construction, bolted well together, and uh, it has several LEDs, one for power, one that tells you when the record is happening, one tells you when it's playing back, one tells you when it's transmitting, and the other one tells you when it's charging. Now, the push button for power is over here, and here is where you plug in the cable. Sorry about that. And here is where you plug in the charger. Here is your cable that you connect to your Baofeng or whatever Chinese radio. It's got the standard Kenwood type connector on one end and the three and a half millimeter four conductor plug on the other. This is the charging cable that it comes with. And it doesn't come with a set of instructions, so you need to go out to their website to um, read the instructions and learn how to use the repeater. But I will show you how to use it. Um, I'll also tell you that it does respond to DTMF codes, so you can turn the repeater on and you can turn it off. Um, remotely. So that's a good thing. Anyway, uh, redsengineering.com and I think I paid $59 for this. To set this up, very simple. You just take the cable, plug it into the unit. This is a good quality cable, by the way, better than some of the other ones that I have. Plug this into the radio. And you can turn your radio on. Okay. Connect your antenna. And you're almost ready to go. Uh, you need to turn the volume down. What I do is I turn it all the way down and then turn it up maybe a sixteenth of, an, of a revolution. You turn on the repeater, you see the power light comes on, and then I'll show you how it works. To set this up, very simple, you just take the cable, plug it into the unit. This is a good quality cable, by the way, 
better than some of the other ones that I have. Plug this into the radio. And you can turn your radio on. Okay. Connect your antenna. And you're almost ready to go. Uh, you need to turn the volume down. What I do is I turn it all the way down and then turn it up maybe a sixteenth of, of a revolution. You turn on the repeater. You see, the power light comes on. And then I'll show you how it works. Okay, we're ready to get started here. Let's do a test. This is N8DAV. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I don't know if you noticed, but the quality of the sound is much better with this simplex repeater than it was with the duplex repeater that I uh, uh, tested earlier today. Let's try it one last time, and you can hear the, uh, the quality of the sound. This is N8DAV. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Now you can set this up to identify itself um, every 10 minutes or so using Morse code or CW, um, and that's what you heard every time uh, I re every time I transmit, uh, it will identify itself. Now I have it set up to do that because sometimes I use this repeater for several hours on the same frequency, and I want to make sure that I follow all the standard FCC rules and regulations. If you watched my previous video about the Surecom SR629 repeater box, uh, you would know that I tried uh, doing that for distance using my mobile unit and connecting uh, one of the HTs uh, up to my uh, base station antenna. And I was able to get out nine miles reliably, 10 miles barely not so much. So what we learned from that is, is that if you have the right equipment and you have a certain need or a desire to be able to get out, you can get 9 or 10 miles using just an HT and a base station antenna. Um, and then, uh, so I'm re testing the repeater. Um, this is the uh, red simplex repeater again. So we're going to test it right now uh, with my uh, base station sitting right outside my house just to make sure it works before we take off. N8DAV, testing one, two, three. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Let's get started. Just as a reminder, I have the HT set up not on my base station antenna, but with a signal stick antenna sitting inside my shack. So uh, I don't expect to be able to get too far, but let's test this out and see what happens. We're about a quarter mile. N8DAV, testing one, two, three. You know, I get really good modulation off of this little repeater. It uh, it does work very, very well, much better than the uh, Surecom SR629 that I tested earlier. I'm at the one mile mark. This is N8DAV, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Okay, well, you can hear uh, by the uh, static and by the lack of uh, signal that we uh, pretty much reached the range that we were going to get, so I'm going to turn around. Uh, so one mile, uh, not bad. I mean, considering uh, I have uh, a signal stick inside my shack, inside my home, uh, there's lots of RF going through around there, so um, I'm sure that uh, doesn't help any. Um, and then, uh, of course, uh, you know, I'm out here with uh, five watts of power uh, on my uh, mobile unit. And um, and I live in the mountains, so I have uh, lots of hills and buildings and power lines and everything else uh, in between me and my uh, my base station. So 
I think uh, this is a pretty good test, and you, you heard the modulation. Sounds pretty good. I really can't complain. It's an excellent, excellent simplex repeater. You can configure it for DTMF detection. You can enable uh, or disable the repeater using DTMF codes. Um, it's a, a, like I said, it was a web-based configuration. You can put it into Fox Hunter transmitter mode. Uh, you can have it uh, transmit uh, the station ID periodically using CW. Um, you can also uh, configure how often you want it to uh, transmit that and how fast you want the CW uh, to be transmitted. Um, it also has the LED indicators that show the status. We went over that before. Uh, the, it has a shield type enclosure design, uh, USB charging, um, open source software, OTA firmware updates via Wi-Fi, and uh, a very long battery life, 12 hours of talk time, uh, up to a 10 month activity standby. So you can actually do something that they actually uh, recommend, and that is to put this into a waterproof case and then you can hang it from a tree or put it up high somewhere and you can use it for days at a time as long as you're not using it for you know 12 hours straight um, this thing will last for quite a long time i've only charged it once and i've had it for several months now and i've used it many 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 hours uh, during that period of time so i'm expecting the uh it, to need a charge here very shortly um, but it is extremely high quality i think it's worth every penny I know you can get cheaper off of Amazon. Uh, you can get the Surecom one. The Surecom one's not bad at all. I'm not gonna say anything bad about it. It actually, I've had some experience with one. I don't own one, but I have some experience with one. And I know somebody who owns one and they're very happy with it. And I think that it works just fine. So the, um, the, uh, the bottom line for all of this is if you're going to be using it a lot, uh, and you want a really high quality piece, I really recommend this Reds Engineering. Uh, and so uh, it's something that you can uh, make up your own mind and decide. I really like this Reds Engineering Simplex Repeater. It, the quality is very, very high. Uh, the uh, sound quality is very, very high. Uh, the operation of it is very, very good. It's consistent. It works really well and it lasts a long time on a charge. Excuse me. So what am I thinking about this little Reds uh, repeater? Well, let me tell you some of the um, features that it has, and this is listed on their website. First of all, you do configure this uh, repeater um, on a web-based configuration via your cell phone. Uh, your it actually does transmit kind of like a little web page that you can uh, pick up on your uh, cell phone via Wi-Fi. And uh, you can... I forgot to say, remember, one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. This is Dave from Prescott, Arizona. My call sign is N8DAV. And I'm going to say 73s to you and so long.